Hello people of planet Earth. I was working on a redstone project and trying to find a timer. I looked on YouTube and couldn't find something that suited my needs, so I decided to come up with my own. This is it. As you can see, it is pretty small, footprint of five by two. So that's the uh, length by the width. And it has a maximum time of two minutes and eight seconds. And so that's pretty good. Uh, it's based on the Etho Hopper clock um, and what he designed a long time ago. And so it works just by you send a pulse and then it pushes this here. And then this is like it's gonna stay on for about 10 seconds. And then when that is done, this is gonna empty out, uh, basically uh, turning this off, which is gonna bring this down to fire signal like it just did, and then bring this back up. What's nice though is because this actually fires a signal up here also, you would use that to chain. But I'll show that a little bit later and for now show you guys how this is actually built. Everything you need is what's currently in my inventory. And so we could go here here uh, you want two hoppers facing each other uh, you're gonna want a comparator coming out of this one uh, we don't need the hoppers anymore so let's get some blocks uh, so a block here redstone dust here repeater three of them sticky piston observer with a face on the opposite way because this is what's gonna be causing our piston to push redstone here uh, for now let's put that there and then like that. And that's basically it completed. Uh, now you can have anything actually go into it to have it uh, start, but typically what I'll do is I'll have a button. And to show you how it works, this is gonna go in here, and from the moment that goes in, that goes up, and then we're gonna wait about, this one's gonna be a little bit longer because it has 32 items, but that should be about 12 seconds. That's gonna come down, cause this piston to fire, like that. And then there, that's the timer. And then we could do it again by pushing it. You do have to wait a little bit for it to reset. But I'll also show you guys an example of how you could chain it. Here we have three chained together. So if you pushed it like this, it's gonna start this one. This one isn't gonna start yet, but it's gonna keep on going down the line like that. Now essentially, um, what you wanna do is you wanna have them like two spaces apart. I'll also show you guys how to chain it real quick. You're gonna want redstone here. You're gonna want a block. My preferred block of choice is white concrete. Uh, I have no idea why, but it works for me. Uh, so, like that. Now we're gonna need the hoppers like we did before. Like that. They have to be facing each other, so that's one thing that you wanna watch out for, because that can get you. Um, so you're gonna want this in there. Redstone here, because that's essentially where it's gonna start. And so uh, you're gonna want the comparator there. You might have caught me uh, glancing at that one. That's just because it needs to be specific for it to actually work. So redstone like that. Repeater over here, we're just putting that there for now. Uh, repeater, repeater. Into a sticky piston, which we don't have in our hot bar, but we'll get really quickly. And then um, an observer. And that's it actually chained. As you can see, it would work. And it just chain, keep on going zigzag like that. And so for that two minutes and eight seconds max, I told you this would actually give you about eight minutes, which is pretty good without relying on a sundial timer. I hope you guys liked it. And well, it's actually useful for you guys. I'll catch you later.